Hi guys, welcome back. So I decided to come out in the heat of the day to do some sunbathing, <sighs> some meditation. Oh my gosh, the sun feels so heavenly, so divine as it is. And I did bring some water. And some fruit. I actually should have worn some shorts though. Because my legs definitely can use a tan. But I'm just going to pull up. Wow, it's been so long. It's like bugs crawling. Little tiny, tiny bugs crawling. So I was actually going to go to the uh, African festival that's happening in Brooklyn right now, but I don't know. Today is the last day, so I was debating if I should go or not, but I don't think I'm going to go. I think, I think that I'm inclined to go and obviously support the African vendors. But at the same time, I'm mindful of the fact that I've spent a lot of money buying African clothing. Yeah, I be buying up some shit for real at the um, Malcolm Shabazz African Market on 116th Street in Harlem. So I've spent like thousands of dollars there. I'm not even exaggerating. And it's like, at some point, you realize that, you know, you have enough clothes. <laughs> so, you guys saw when I went live yesterday, I actually um, was showing what the vendors were selling. And they had, like, clothing. They had uh, bath and beauty products. They had artwork, some woodwork. Then there were a plethora of different African-centered things. And I'm just like, you know what? Of course, everything is nice. And of course, um, I can always use more clothes, right? Especially now that I'm into fashion, like African fashion. But I'm like, mm mm. No, no, no. I have to press pause. Someone on my live said yesterday, oh, you got the money. It's not even about having the money or not having the money. It's the, it looks cute. It's the fact that some things just are excessive, right? And I don't, I don't want to like get caught up in this habit of excessively spending. Though shopping can be very therapeutic, so I think I'm not gonna go out there. Though I want to go because I just felt like the positive vibes. It was just really good, great energy out there yesterday. I went out there to see this film called Hot Irons at the BAM and I knew that they were having the outdoor African uh, festival with the vendors because one of the guys that I patronized who's at the um, African market on 116th Street in Harlem he told me about that that he was going to be out there vending and it happens every year apparently so when I was waiting in line to use the restroom there was this woman who said that she comes like every year and she's been coming like for the past 20 years I'm like, wow, <laughs> that is a long time. So this was my first year attending when I went yesterday. But it's all connected to like the New York African Film Festival. Like all of this is connected. It's like Africa dance or dance Africa. It's like so many things like combined into one. Um, one big event so the new york african film festival has been taking place for like the past several weeks and it it started for me actually at the lincoln center i was out at the lincoln center and then they hosted it at this um this theater 
in Harlem. And then they also have it at the BAM. It's a lot of film festivals happening, by the way. So, you guys, feel free to share your thoughts. Feel free to comment if you want. Um, but, yeah, it's like a lot of film festivals happening. The New York African Film Festival, the Tribeca Film Festival, which I actually just purchased tickets to the... Um, New York African Film, uh, I mean to the um, Tribeca Film Festival, and they have a whole lineup of black-centered uh, entertainment that's happening at the Tribeca Film Festival, too, so I posted a link to that on my Facebook page, Nas is going to be there, Tyler Perry is going to be there doing a talk. It's going to be a lot of films, a lot of talks. I'm just like, okay. I think Megan Good, I saw Megan Good is going to be there. A lot of people are going to be there. So I did purchase tickets to a film that's part of the Tribeca Film Festival. So I'm looking forward to that. The sun is hitting just right, given that, okay, I live in New York City. So it seems like New York is... Like out, of all of, out of all of um, the U.S., right, New York is a, in a place that receives the least amount of sunlight, yeah. And especially living in Manhattan, um, Brick City, being surrounded by very tall skyscraper buildings, right? So, when, the, when you're finally able to get access to the sun and it's warm outside, it's like, yes, take advantage of this. Advantage and my skin has lightened up so much it's like red it's like that Indian red <laughs> so yeah, I feel like I need this this is very therapeutic for me very therapeutic to get this I'm actually wearing you can see the shirt New York African Film Festival and maybe you can see the back of it I showed it to you guys already, though. And then I have a bag that I purchased, too. They had some really unique artwork that I saw at the um, outdoor festival yesterday. Like, this really tall sculpture. I wanted to get it, right? And I didn't even ask them how much it was. But I got a feeling, like, they jack up the prices of everything there because they gotta obviously make a profit from the vendor fees but you know it's a unique event i think that they sell things higher than what they normally would at the outdoor festival purposefully so what would probably normally go for like a hundred dollars they're probably trying to sell for like three hundred dollars i'm like mm -mm, baby not that it's not worth that but not, I just don't want to pay for it. <laughs> I'm not trying to pay for it. Yes. Feels so good outside, y'all. Loving this. I'm going to be out here for a little while. I'm going to head to Harlem, actually. some errands I have to run. I'm about to prepare for my spiritual bath that I'm going to take next or well, this coming weekend. So I need a candle. I'm going to get a new shower curtain. Amongst other things.
energizing. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. How's that? Better. So you guys can see I found something creative to do with this emblem here. Sorry to put it on this necklace. Knock on wood, but I haven't seen any squirrels. I see a bee, but I'm not allergic, thank God. But I know that if I start eating my fruit, this bee is gonna want some. <laughs> it's already. <laughs> The bee is trying to serenade me. <laughs> so I might just wait. I might just wait to eat my fruit. I know it smells sweet with the oils that I'm wearing. Wait, was somebody... Another thing about being outside in the sun like this, well, it has to be like in the 80s, but it feels like the 90s. Another thing about it is that when you live, like, this, your phone can overheat. I don't want that to happen, so. I may stay live for a little bit longer, but. Just thinking, meditating, enjoying the sun, enjoying the breeze, the peace and serenity. That's where I'm at in my life right now. High temperature. See, it's giving me that warning. High temperature detected. Device will be turned off for your safety. The temperature rises higher. Please use after. All right, so I'm going to end this video now. I don't want my video to cut off. This saying it's too hot. I could take you guys for a walk. Let's go. Let's go for a walk so my phone can cool down. This is a this is a perfect location though. Oh. But the change in weather, like I've been thinking about traveling. This is just that time of year. <sighs> or we can just sit here, but I want to be in the sun though. But it's already saying that it's too hot, so I might just end it here. Come back and catch you guys later. You guys want to see the surroundings? <laughs> That's where I was sitting at over there.